Welcome to Movilizer. In this video, we would like to show you how you can send a Movilet to the Movilizer client, request the replies back, and delete a Movilet from the Movilizer client, all via the Movilizer multi tenant cloud. Here are some short facts on the theory. The concept is based on a standard web service communication with request response. A web service caller submits requests to the Movilizer cloud. A web service caller can be any system or tool that can submit a web service request to a specific URL or callback endpoint. The Movilizer cloud is completely controlled via such requests. It stores and distributes the data. You can control the whole lifecycle of a Movelet via web service requests, but not only that, also you can create, delete, update master data for example, and many many more things. When the client synchronizes, it receives the stored data that the cloud has converted into binary data structure. To get back the replies, the web service caller has to submit a request. This is a secure approach because the customer's backend system is never called from the Movilizer web service actively. Let's get started with the demo. To be able to execute this example by yourself, you will need the following credentials a system ID and password for web service access, a participant that can be used on a device to receive movelets. We open SOAP UI and import our project now. When you open it and click on the WSDL link, you can see the definition of the data structure that is being sent and received when submitting web service requests and receiving web service responses. Our first step is to set the system ID and password. You can do it directly in the XML or you can go to the custom properties in SOAP UI and set the credentials there. The credentials are necessary to authenticate yourself in the cloud. Once you have authenticated with the web service, you are able to submit requests to it. We also need to authenticate the device to which we are assigning our movelet. We do that by entering the device address, a phone number in this case. Now what we want to do is to create a movelet and assign it to our participant. If you look at the project we imported, you can see that it consists of three requests. The first request creates a movelet and assigns it to the identified participant. The movelet is stored in the cloud and the participant can synchronize his client to receive the movelet. The second request does not contain any movelet definition. Nevertheless, the cloud will always send a response. This response can contain status messages, error messages, reply data, and so on. We are sending this specific request to receive back the reply data that has been synchronized to the cloud after processing the movelet on the client. And a third request tells the cloud to delete the movelet from the client. The precise process here is, the movelet is first deleted from the cloud. If our client synchronizes, the cloud sends a movelet delete command to that client and the client deletes it. Let's have a look at the client. Before we can receive movelets, we need to register our client so it can communicate with the cloud. We register with the participant we identified before. The credentials will be sent to the user of this device automatically if he hasn't been registered before. Now the client has been registered. The main menu is currently empty since we haven't assigned any movelet to this participant yet. Now we are going to submit the request. The mobile web service will send you a response back which will inform you that all went well and that the movelet has been assigned to this particular participant. Back to the client. When we synchronize, we will see that we received a movelet which is the actual movelet we have created and assigned. Now we can process this movelet by filling out the fields. This example was based on a very simple movelet with just one screen to give an idea of the concept of a movelet. In short, what happened is, 
We executed a movelet and sent the process data of that movelet back to the cloud by synchronizing the client. Now we switch back to the SOAP UI. Via the GET replies, empty requests, we are submitting a request to the Movilizer Cloud to get back the replies from the executed movelet as explained before. If we submit it, the cloud will automatically send back what we have just entered into that movelet and synchronized back to the cloud. We go back to the client. We see the movelet is still on the client. We would like that movelet to be removed from the client. For that, we can use the last request, explicit movelet delete. When the cloud processes this request, it will delete the movelet. If you synchronize the client again, you will see that movelet has been removed. And that is all there is for a quick test of functionality of the Movilizer web service. Thank you for your attention.